How's it going, Eliminators? Today on EP Tech Tips number three, I'm gonna be showing you why it's important to torque your head bolts. So let's get right into it. So I have four mowers in front of me here, and they're all different mowers. They're all kind of different makes. And even though they're different design Briggs & Stratton engines, they all use the same engine block, which is gonna be the L-head Briggs. And it's a very common engine. They're very reliable. But the one thing that you're going to notice on a lot of these lawnmowers is occasionally you'll see a little bit of oil. And sometimes people are going to think that they might have a blown out head gasket when in reality it's just your head bolts that have loosened off and have allowed a little bit of oil that is normally used to lubricate the valves. It just starts dripping out where the gap opens up due to the loosened off engine bolt. And if left long enough, those bolts will loosen off to the point where there will be a considerable gap. And what that'll do is it will allow combustion from the engine to actually bypass the head gasket. And it may cause a head gasket blowout where it physically rips out a piece of your head gasket. And then you'll have no choice but to replace the head gasket at that point. So if you start noticing a little bit of oil on the front of your deck underneath your engine, you're gonna go ahead and grab a half inch socket and put it on a torque wrench. And then I'm just gonna go around and torque all of these head bolts to 165 inch pounds. Now, depending on your engine type, make, model, your mower may have a different head bolt torque spec than the ones shown here. So chances are you can just Google your model number and just type in head bolt torque spec after that, and you'll be able to pull up some kind of technical sheet that will tell you what torque spec all the bolts should be. Now, normally when you're torquing head bolts, you want to torque them in a staggered position. So we're gonna go one here, one there, one up here, one down there, and just kind of crisscross. So I have just a quarter inch torque wrench here, and I've set it to 165 inch pounds. And I'm just gonna go around and make sure all of these bolts are tight. It's a super simple process. And we can see that uh, these ones here are tight because the torque wrench is clicking. And for something that takes less than a minute, you can prevent a head gasket blowout on your engine if the head gasket isn't blown. Again, maybe you just see a little bit of oil, so you can go ahead and wipe up that oil, torque your bolts, and go ahead and sell a mower, and you won't have to worry about a customer complaining that, you know, the thing's burning oil or dripping oil. Now, it might be hard to pick up on the camera here, but here's a great sign that we have a loose head bolt. So what you're going to notice here is that all of these head bolts here are slightly whitened and we look into the bottom right corner one there and it's a little darker so what happens is as the head bolt starts to loosen off oil starts coming down the threads through that bolt hole and it will just start to coat the head of the bolt so you always want to look for that and nine times out of ten the head bolts that are loose on these L head Briggs are the three down here right by the exhaust port those are normally the ones that loosen off and that's just because the engine heats up and cools down as you start it and shut it off, start it and shut it off. That expansion and contraction is what helps that bolt loosen off there. So if we go over to this one here, we can see that that one is tight, but I'm gonna come down to the bottom right corner here and we're gonna look to see if this turns. Yep, look at that. So we got a little bit of a turn on it and I'll try to get this one up here too. Let's see if this turns. Yep, that one was loose as well. Let's try this one up here. That one was tight. That one was a little bit loose. That one was really loose. That's it guys. Super simple. Now as an added step, you could use a paint marker if you wanted to and just go around and give all the bolts just a little mark of paint. And that just lets you know that you've gone ahead and torqued all of them. And you don't have to worry about missing any. You don't need much, just a little green dot on each head bolt does the trick. 
Now on an engine that only has eight head bolts, it's pretty easy to track which ones you've tightened up. But once you start getting into sump bolts on bigger engines, then sometimes you could have 10 or 12 different bolts and doing a staggered torque on something with 12 bolts, it gets a little hard to keep track of which bolt you've torqued down. So the paint trick just kind of helps you keep track of everything. Well, that wraps up today's video. Just a quick little EP tech tip for the day torque your head bolts it'll stop an oil leak and will prevent a head gasket blowout from happening if you guys enjoyed the video think about leaving me a thumbs up you know it really helps me out you can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos i upload every single week so be sure to stop on by next week check channel out for new content and as always guys thanks for watching